You cut parallel to the bone. Hi, welcome to Cut of the Week. This week we're talking about Chuck Short Ribs. All right, so I've brought you some Chuck Short Ribs from a ranch called Roaring Springs in Oregon. They're in the high desert country and it's grass-fed, grass-finished beef. What's special about this ranch though is they're eating native grasses that only grow in that area and they practice holistic management principles that have resulted over the last 10 years in dramatic double-digit increases in native species of cranes, trout, and grouse. It's a beautiful thing. But tell me about chuck short ribs. Well, chuck short ribs are a beautiful thing too. The key with them is taking them low and slow. Whether they're gonna be on the smoker, whether you're gonna braise them in the oven, that's the key is time. They're gonna fall off the bone. They are gonna be wonderful, unctuous, and flavorful. And anybody you serve them to is gonna think you're a rock star. So enjoy. These ribs are nice because you can cook them actually as this big chunk, as big this plate. They smoke really, really nicely. They do great for a, a slow roast over a fire. Um, you can braise the whole thing and the meat's gonna fall off. What I really like to do with these is make English cut short ribs out of them, which is the exact opposite of flanken style. English cut is where you take your short rib, the plate rib, as a continuous piece, and then you cut parallel to the bone. And then you've got this nice short rib section. Look how beautiful all that fat is. Look at this nice marbling, this nice fat cap on top. It's gonna like just render really, really nicely. Create a really juicy, flavorful, sort of unctuous piece of meat. 